Did I ever? Uh, the question is, have I ever meet and have relationship with fallen being? I mean, if, if fallen being can be on a rule position, high position, or we can meet them personal, and uh, have you meet them, how did you have relate relationship with him? Okay. Um, so yes, I have uh, met fallen beings because fallen beings have different levels. There are the ones that are really narcissistic and, and egotistical that want to become leaders and they often become dictators. But they are, of course, you know, when you think about what they said about fallen beings, there was often a planet, but there was one fallen or one being, it hadn't fallen yet, one being that set itself as the leader and then there were many, many beings that were loyal. So when the leader fell, many of those fell with it, are just out of loyalty. So they are technically fallen beings, but they are not as self-centered or deeply into denial as the leader was. So there are many people that are just ordinary people in life that felt that way. It doesn't mean they're bad people. They're not necessarily evil or anything like that. Yes. Do you think they... Uh... Do you think they fell from other planets or maybe some situation as nat uh, citizen, natural citizen of Earth or even Avatar who was traumatized so he became like uh, fallen, can, uh, fallen a bit? Well, I mean, technically, the masters have distinguished between, uh, they say that a fallen being is a being who fell when their sphere ascended. So they fell in the previous sphere, the sixth, the fifth, or the fourth. There are probably very, very few people left on Earth, if any, that fell in the fourth sphere. So, but what they've also said is that people can, who's, people who originated in this sphere, they can go into the fallen consciousness, but that doesn't mean they're fallen beings because they, their sphere hasn't ascended. So, uh, so to go get back to the first part of the question, um, which I think ties a little bit in with the personal relationships that um, you can easily have personal relationships with fallen beings, not of the category of a Hitler or, or something like that, but those who fell out of loyalty and didn't really fall out of rebellion, you know, a conscious deliberate rebellion. But, but many times um, they are very, very reluctant to admit that they could be wrong uh, and, and apologize or, and, and it's, it's interesting because I can think of a couple of people that they were working on themselves and they were looking at psychology, but there was a core of their being they couldn't look at. And you can say, we may all have something we can't look at until we are ready to look at, but this was almost, it was a different level. It was more of a denial. Um, and I think as avatars, we often choose to be in these kind of relationships with fallen beings. And it can be partly because we think we can help them and partly because we want to study them because we don't understand it. Subconsciously. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's like I said, you, you meet these people who are so selfish, self-centered or who are what I called stupid earlier is because they are in denial of reality, you know. And you're thinking, how can he think that way? If I'm to if I if I'm to help them, I must understand how they're thinking. So I must put myself in a relationship with them. And as we, of course, then we come into embodiment, we forget all of this, and so now we're just reacting to them based on our own wounds, you know. And they are very good at making you feel guilty or making you feel you've hurt them, uh, because. Uh, you know, they have the wound that they know they know they made a mistake by falling, but they can't admit it. That's why they haven't risen again. So they have to maintain that denial. So if you are questioning their sense that they are okay and that they are right, they will feel very hurt by it. And they might often accuse you back that, you know. And the can it be uh, the avatars or regular people who was traumatized or or often fallen by their own choice, or this big just traumatized person who became act act like uh, fallen? Well, I mean, you have this saying in uh, psychology that 
he who was abused often becomes an abuser. Because when you are abused as a child, for example, you become so traumatized by it that it's almost like you, I, I would say, you take on this consciousness. Let's say you have an abusive parent who has some kind of demon, and you can take on that or a similar demon as a result of the abuse because of the trauma opens you up to it. Uh, so that's why you can see that this sometimes repeats. It doesn't always, but it sometimes does. So there are, there are certainly people, they, they haven't fallen because the sphere hasn't ascended, but they've gone into the fallen consciousness as a result of being abused by a fallen being, by a fallen being. And that's how it spreads like rings in the water. 